Well, hello, and we are recording. <laughs> so tonight on um, Growing Up Alien, we have a special guest and a fellow Pleiadian uh, star C, part of the team, part of our team. His name is Evan Howell. And Evan has a wonderful channel called <clears throat> The Ancient Pathways. And I'm going to plug that repeatedly <laughs> during our, our chat tonight because I, I really think the work that Evan's doing is, is so like... It has a different vibe to it. Evan does a lot of great experiments with lasers um, and magnets and a few things like that, that I think you'd really enjoy um, picking up a few of the ideas from him on his channel. Again, I'm going to put it in the links, of course, below um, after. So it's called The Ancient Pathways, which is like, I mean, that's a, freak, that's a cool name. Come on. That's, <laughs> that's cool oh, name. thank you. But the, the big thing about Evan, I say, is you're just rocking that Pleiadian vibe. And and I and I says that's just the minute. So it's actually, how we first met, right, was on uh, Dave Rossi, and I tell you, and Linda was saying this, and our friend Linda, who's been on here with with her husband Will, from, who's a tall Pleiadian, um, but Dave brought us all together. He did. That's just like is <laughs> he's that's what he does. He he just has this. Um, so we're gonna say again, if anybody gets a chance to kind of. Um, Learn a little bit about Dave. Dave Rossi, uh, fantastic. I actually saw him for the first time on Michael Sala, and I said, "I got, I got to," and I never talk to people, you know. So I'm, I always got, I got like, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna talk to Dave because I just got to get in touch with this guy, you know. And uh, all the magic rolled from there. So, um, and this is what I hope, you know, the channel uh, growing up aliens. And I know Evan with his ancient pathways. Definitely, we we both want to kind of reach out to everyone and um, connect and, and bring you into your team and, and to connect you with our team um, as we try to create a new earth here. But um, anyway, Evan, I think we were, we were chatting before the, <laughs> you always, you always have our best uh, conversations before we press record. And um, we were talking about uh, vulnerability. And um, one, one thing I want to bring up before is, um, Evan, you have a connection upstairs who is a lovely Pleiadian woman. And um, when you star seated here and then left your real body upstairs, <laughs> uh, her name is Lyra. She's an, a hell Pleiadian, just like um, Evan's real body is in a hell Pleiadian. And um, she's a special lady. And um, it's an honor to have her on our team. And it's nice for folks to understand that some of these off-planet relationships that many people have, um, you have many gentlemen who have female counterparts, um, twin flames on the other side as well. And um, I hope to bring a bunch more gentlemen on and they can talk about their, uh, their special ladies. But um, Evan, I don't know if you want to add anything about, uh, about Lyra. Uh, yeah, there's been some, some different connections just to the vulnerability point over the years, like uh, maybe, maybe separate, uh, separate energies, if you will, going, going over the, uh, the different, the different uh, eras, I guess, of how I started to learn where, where I'm at right now, like the lane sort of, of, uh, I don't know really if there's a name for it per se, but, just kind of more vague of like uh, guidance uh, in the earlier years as to sp spikier, a little harder in in the in the middle age part around teen to twenties, and then kind of eased it back into a, a nature vibe now, and then whereas specific individuals perhaps come come through to me and I'll, again Lyra I, I believe definitely is one of a good variety of ones that maybe pop through pretty gratefully pretty frequently but also to the to the point that you made also after that I saw Dave I think the first time on uh tinfoil hat uh the tinfoil hat with Sam Tripoli and I was like whatever open to whatever being the case with maybe some stuff being obscured and 
for whatever reason, it was the same thing of like, this dude strikes me as 100% not pulling my leg. And for whatever reason, I got to reach out to him. And I'm a thousand percent grateful I did. Because if you would have told me even a third of that stuff at that time, like the electroculture stuff, the laser stuff, I would be like, no, there's no way that's 100% out of my realm. Yeah. Definitely not. But just the fact of like, oh, something I need to talk to that guy. Like it, it just, I'm grateful, but it chain reaction to, to where, where we are now, thankfully. Yeah. Is that co- you were compelled? <laughs> Which again, like I, I think he said it as well, but the leading into your gut slash intuition slash bad feeling, good feeling about something is something I've personally, the more I lean into it, like even the slightest thing, like, Ooh, my charger needs to be an inch over to the right. Like, Oh, okay. Go for it now. Like it helps for whatever reason. And then later I'll spill my coffee and it won't, won't mess up my charger. Like, Oh, whew, good thing I did that. Yeah. Oh, we're, we it's, totally ping on the same stuff. You know, if there's some vibe, we're, cause we're keeping the team safe, you know? So there's some kind of little vibe or something. I'm like, oh man, you got the, and you, we're all on the same page when it comes to these little, uh, little, little things that happen, you know? So for sure. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's um, one thing, you know, about being receptive, you know, being vulnerable is about being receptive. And the more you're able to receive, the more you'll have contact experiences or any kind of telepathic, all of your natural bodily skills will start to enhance simply through that ability to re- begin to open up and receive. And well, I think it was a, maybe it was a Jesse Michaels one, or it could have been, um, gosh, I can't remember the, the doctor's name that researches the chemical in the brain, yeah, yeah. but it's, a, it's the yin yang question of does exposure to whatever cause the human body to create whatever inside of it crystal structure or is yeah. the crystal structure inside the human body what draws whatever to yeah. us being able to see it like it's right. a good question yeah totally because i mean um the stuff that we do you know and in, in, in my relationship with my husband off planet and other when i telepath um star beings for other people it's not a magic trick you know and um it's it's just it's actually physics it's quantum entanglement right and as we all know and most of our friends know, you know, there's no such thing as time and you have all these different dimensions and we're multidimensional beings. And we, you know, you and I haven't have had many lives together. Well, I think one of our really strongest ones is in the one pivotal one, which I think is going to unfurl is the one we've had with Avalon and King Arthur and Merlin. That was like, oh, our, hopefully. Yeah. That, that was like our main thing. Uh, you know, going back to Egypt, but you know, Avalon um, was our main thing. And, and, and even Atlantis, you know, I think I think King Arthur maybe definitely personally I think King Arthur maybe definitely has way higher of a tech level than we give at current oh, yeah. on face value. Totally, it's all about tech actually. Um, you know, extraterrestrial tech. Yeah, for sure. A, a, a different a different level of it than we currently like. They definitely might have been actually in armor and swords and stuff but i i think they had like some sonic and some yeah some they, they had some uh, at least yeah we 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 won't be able to talk about that too much now because of the you know the the uh the folks who want to get their hands on that stuff but uh yeah that was our main um you got to remember going back levitating down the beach yeah <laughs> i th- i think there was a lot of people that could do that honestly like it was oh, like a common yeah. thing like it was calm yeah you don't need shoes because you just levitate around. Why, why bother? That's right. You know, but it, it's just this um, relaxing into the, let me call it the quantum or whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. It, it isn't, you know, it, it, you can't find a good word for it. You know, I don't, I don't know how to describe the experience of the universal existence. Right. Well, that's like a big, to me anyway, that's a big part of at least, most of the groups that we rock with is like at there definitely isn't like just the color factor alone. Like there's not, there's a whole color spectrum out there. Like, cool. Maybe we, we get to name it. Then if we spot it first and figure a way to bring it into this 3d reality, then 
we get the right to name it. Cool. It's that color is now called Andrea. But oh. thing. <laughs> Yeah, I would do that if I found one. I would. I definitely would. Purple color, right? Yeah. No. 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 That's that's like some wild stuff. But yeah, it's it's um you know we you want to create that kind of eclectic experience and mix of interests, you know, that like I never like knew much. That was that was actually part of my um, my growth and part of my mission here. Where they say you're going to have to work on the tech too. So I'm like, I don't do tech. And they're like, no, you're going to have to start. You understand it. You have to start bringing it in. And then people were talking to me, well, you just understand it intuitively. Like, oh, and, and that's where you're actually taking an intuitive past, not, not even past life, like par I call it parallel life, you know, where you're taking it sideways because what is it's all, all now and past and future, but you're pulling the information, which is why you incarnated here, bringing your consciousness from era. You know, you're, you're bringing that, you were a master of, of technology upstairs. I, I said, you and Lyra, everybody, you, you guys are total twin flames, but you both are the MacGyver of extraterrestrial tech. So if anything, well, they knew, people know you upstairs. Like, oh, I know that guy. Um, I'm starting to get a hang for it down here. Definitely, A, I know that there's like like a line that you for sure can't can't cross, like just to say it blatantly, like gold. Like I could say for sure, you, you might be able to do that, but would I try personally? No. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's one aspect. And the other aspect is like, there's levels of like, you can use like springs maybe, for example, versus other methods with magnets versus way, way more complex stuff that I'm totally down to learn, but I'm not there yet I, where I am for time here. Like, I feel like there's definitely a version out there that has a thousand percent grasp on it already for both you and me, but I I'm not there yet personally here. Like, and I well, definitely know there's a risk. Yeah. I mean, well, there's that still, but I mean, a lot of it's going to be, well, I think that's why they, they trickle in your memory. You get it trickled to you little by little by little to, you know, obviously, you know, if we get toasted, it's not going to get, <laughs> be some, we go back to our old bodies and wait a minute. I get, but I mean, I, I think there's that, allowance for how much you need to sort of experience at that time so what kind of what kind of knowledge memories you're going to need to work with and then they keep adding to it and adding to it so i think what you'll see is you'll start to like build and build and build upon things in different ways and then i don't know when but I, i'm sure at some point there'll be the landslide of, of memories where you will be like oh yeah you know already to like a certain degree like specific eras or whatever like just as far as like uh like a specific like an example like king arthur like for sure there's some energy stuff going on there like the magician guys definitely were like like conduits themselves but i feel like they also had like way better alchemy understanding like maybe even for for egypt they had like a different flavor of like sonic stuff that they could do with with uh sound perhaps Yep. And like I, I get how it all works, but like I, I wouldn't be able to explain to you in physics terms per se how it goes no, or write it on paper. Yeah. Which, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, King Arthur, Avalon, the um, secret ingredients are crystals and lasers. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> and I think both of them. I think the human body, personally, I think the human body. There's a way that you both of which are like physically you can physically bring that into this reality via the ether like yeah right here i could be like oh here i'm gonna like whoop and then let's, <laughs> a crystal appears and then i'm like all right i'm sending it your way and then you're like and then next to you yeah you have you're like oh well it's sweet like oh, all right we're remembering how to do it correctly like i per i really think that's a hundred percent not only possible but real and like yeah. doable within our lifetime Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's why, you know, all of our, not just, you know, our gang, but all the gangs out there across the planet right now with our upstairs gang, you know, that's why we're here. So. Hopefully. Well, that, and I would argue also like the, to the craft aspect that there's, if, if there's man-made ones and any possibility is a reality somewhere that there would have to be natural ones that, 
would be on our side as well. And if they were extra dimensional, then that means for sure they're on our side too, which you're here. I'm I'm hoping for. Well, there's man-made ones for sure. There's man-made ones. Oh, yeah. Totally, yeah. I mean. I'm grateful whatever makes you see them or lets you see them. I'm grateful I do see them pretty often at night. But you see a lot of the, the the human ones, the military ones, but I see the craft that are um, the ET ones. Um, and anybody can you know, just look up, spend some time looking up. You know, you you get them both. You know, I because I, you uh, the fellow um, that he was a fellow that was an MK Ultra was explaining to me. So you're on a flight path for the American, you know, military. So that's well, for for a few because I, there is, and I'm not to cut you off. I I see the. And again, I, who the heck knows? Because it's nighttime. It's three lights. One's what's a triangle, and then there's a three light one that has it's kind of see through. It's like crystal. There's oh, that's two- not ours. That's, that's nope. not, no, that's not ours. There's a two light one that's like a light and a light. That one I think is a tic tac. And then there's uh just the really tiny orb one that's usually super high up. And almost always, if I see it, I'll wave to it, and I have I usually have a laser in my pocket, and I'll shine a seven pointed star at it. Almost always. Yeah. Yeah. Usually the triangle ones with the three are ours. Because that's the TR3B. They they usually, not, almost none of them make noise the past. Oh, they don't make noise. <laughs> they don't no, know. they the, they don't have a tail like A. They, oh. they definitely don't make any jet noise. Like you, there's no sonic uh, lag on it or anything, but the few two or three that I've heard that do make a noise, it's not, it's just like they turn their like whatever bubble off. And so like, it's just metal, like the craft can still float, but the metal, it, the sonic is not being like re- deflected. So you can still hear the metal hitting the air, like it's air cutting noise, but it's LBR. not, there's no jet. Like I don't, yeah, maybe that was, it's like Leroy it's Jenkins. Still, it's still, it's model. still using massless flight. Yeah, yeah, but it's like whatever the the outer shell where normally it would be soundproof, right, is off, or it's yeah, in for no emergency warp. power or something. I have no idea. And that the warp is off. Yeah. Yeah, it, may, it might just be local local power mode or something. I'm not sure. I know the difference, but yeah, I know yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know how. Have I have no idea what they do with ours. I don't know. You know, that's the I don't human tech is. Be, I don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> But yeah, they, they they definitely they've they've had them. Of course, we all know you know they've had them for a long time. But um, it's a super massive um, uh, secret space space program and Solar Warden. I wish if I could, my buddy, the super massive triangle that me and my buddy saw over oh, Amherst. Yes. yes. If I could get him to come on and talk about it, I I would. I'm would get him to in a heartbeat but i'm um, it's not it's no jokes as you know, you know the dirt mall in amherst like it's maybe what like three blocks four blocks like it was easily oh, yeah. dwarfed that oh yeah like it was floating directly above it like yeah. maybe under a thousand feet nobody looking up at it uh, no i know but that just- that that's one of the things where you're like holy sh- holy shit what what the hell is that and then if from there personally it's stacked up like there's definitely no way that that thing is gas powered like (laughs) all right so that's a given like now definitely we something out there floating around in our atmosphere can do way better than gas mileage so all right well like i'm not gonna get hung up on it or like but that's for sure a thing like yeah. Huh. Like. Yeah. And then it took off from this, and it started to go super f- a little fast, and then super fast, and yeah, a dot. Yeah, no yeah. sound. No sound. Right now. Absolutely no sound. Yeah. Yeah, I it, like when they flash and go. That's one of my. It didn't flash. It was. It, it was just flash. creeped. It just creeped, and then it was like a yeah. streak into a dot. Yep. Yeah. 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 No good. sound. Oh, it's. Did you did you ask for your next time? Now we do this, we bum. Be like, hey. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I yeah, I'm, I'm I start I started doing a salute, but I, I oh, gotta yeah. get thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. 
And I, we just bumped some rock. We were trying to like, okay, where's the beam? Suck us up. You know? <laughs> oh, or land and land and oh, yeah, give, I was us, uh, give us yeah. a security card that gets lets us tell everybody what's up. Oh, officially. And that's that's I want to see a big, huge mothership. Oh, yeah. You know, that was probably I that's one of the things that I heard for that they were going to for one of the plans for disclosure was that they were just going to go and be off the coast places, but like just chill out for a while. Like, so you can, I don't know if you could go up and touch them or what, but like go up there and just go and hang it around uh, right. the globe. And I'm like, Oh, that'd be kind of a good plan, I guess. Like yeah. Yeah. That'll let everybody know they're not a threat. They're just, they're just kicking right. there. Well, they're not a threat. I'm like, I can't, I know they're not. <laughs> that was the first, I remember thinking that in, elementary school like and somebody asked me i think i think the other half of bill pog asked me and when i lived down in amherst he said something about oh if a ship landed would you get on it and i'm like of course i would like I've had, of course. I've had that dream recurring dream for years where i just specific spot on the highway i just hop on of course and he's like what why and i'm like well dude like think about it if they had that level of technology they could do whatever they want to anybody like may as well go chill with them and see what's good and like if they're not taking you then they're probably not doing it out of harm they're offering you a, an olive branch like yeah he's like oh that's a good argument I'm like of course <laughs> i love it yeah yeah no i saw one um the up close one was middle of the day well, I was coming home from school. My mom was driving, so I didn't say anything. It was a um, Pleiadian scout just just tailing on, you know, like people fly those um, personal planes, little propeller planes. That's about as high as it was, right? So at first, it was, it was just tailing the side of our car. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, it must be a helicopter. And then like, that's like, like holy shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't say anything because my mom was driving, right? So I'm just like, I'm like, then I, I telepath with it. I said, are you government? They said, no. I'm like, okay, cool. And it just followed our car. And it started, it just, it stayed side to side with our car. And then it, then it tailed off as we were going down towards uh, Shrewsbury over the, I mean, Boylston, excuse me, not Shrewsbury. Boylston over the reservoir, it, it tailed off past the trees. But then it was later that day, I told my mom, I said, you know, there was a UFO following the car. She's like, what? I'm like, there was a UFO. There was a scout ship. I said, and you know, my mom, she's totally into this stuff now. Because we sit outside and I tell her, I said, you know, we saw, she says, how many did you see? I said, I said, we saw three tonight. She's like, oh, that's great. You know, so, you know. Don't they all say no? Do they, do, some of them are honest and say yes, if they're government, I guess. Well, you, you, um, you know, I'm just feeling through. I can, I can feel, you can feel the difference. But it was just something that, like, I didn't even, like, it was just what I had to ask. It was like, it was odd. You know, I had no, like, it was, I was compelled to ask, are you government? And well, that. That kind of makes me wonder, like, like you're you probably like your mom maybe wasn't open to it and or didn't see it, but like in the same yeah. for like I a couple buddies that they're like, oh, I've never seen anything like it. Whatever, like that's that's crazy. I I'd love to, and then like, hey, what's that? Like, I was doing farm work with or yard work with my buddy and uh, one of them, and he we were out back and like. Oh, like two of the big troop transport, like airplanes. Oh, yeah. They were flying pretty low, like under 3,000 feet and low enough where you could tell what they were, like make out like whatever the, that there was a flag on the tail and stuff. But like, he's like, wow, they're flying really low. And I'm like, wait, they're not making any sound. And he's like, no, they're not. And he's like, I've never seen anything like that before. And then they were, they flew and then they like merged into one plane, like, and Again, it could have been like on from the ground, like who knows, but his dad is in the military and he asked him and he's like, no, they would never do that. They don't fly within however close to each other, but they merged into the same plane <laughs> and then separated again the other way. Like the whole time we're, we're just kind of watching I'm like, all right. He's like, dude, I've never seen anything like that in my life ever. And I'm like, maybe, maybe we just like, Hey dude, obviously like you and i like hey we're open to it like yeah. we go to a concert and we're like hey anybody in this concert that's open to it like 
let's give him let's give him a little how do you do and then all of a sudden like two thirds of the audience like sees a uh a saucer pop in like yeah thanks guys like right on <laughs> I, yeah totally i mean I, and i think you know this is the the majority i have i have rarely met in fact, I haven't met anyone that isn't like super ready to see this stuff. I, I haven't met anyone. Everybody's like, mm. oh my God, bring it on, bring it on. I see that one. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the, it is. It's like nine out of 10. I, yeah. I mean, I, in general, I, I have met a few people that are like, I, I get my shotgun and whatever. Like, well, oh my God. Dude, if, if they can. Oh. Ben dimensions. I don't know that I your shotguns are gonna do any. I'm but all right. Hey, like no judgment. Right on. Like, yeah, right. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but that's the you know that's kind of a part of the like bless their hearts. Like that's a part of the the population that's gonna break down. There's the other part that's gonna be like yeah whatever. Like I'm open to it, and there'll probably be another part that's like I still need some time to process this and like run to a cabin in the woods or something <laughs> which again like no judgment against any of them I'm, i'll be right there on the front line like yeah come on guys What's oh yeah absolutely I, I was hoping that's, that's the thing it's like you know if they're you know you're going to be meeting people other humans it's like what's the you know well what if and i and, and i think it was frank chili was talking but what if you suddenly found out that your neighbor is from venus you've been living with this person next to you your neighbors, right? You've been sharing rakes and lawnmowers and, and, you know, when all this stuff finally, you know, rea when reality finally appears in front of people's faces and your neighbor says, hi, I'm from Venus. There you go. I mean, I'm going to be a lot. First, I would be like, I am a little pissed that we haven't jammed out on music. Yes, or, can you play right now. first? And then like, if not, it's all good either way. Yeah, yeah. Now right. I definitely want to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, yeah. Right. Right. I mean, where you you would you know be us in our Earth bodies, we'd be we're, we're in alien bodies to someone from Venus. So I mean, you know, that would probably personally that would make me want to go hang out with that person more. Yo, yeah, and, <laughs> you know, like I'm not really the most social. Go knock on my neighbor's door, good, like crockpot dinner type, but no, that I would, am now. might turn <laughs> me into <laughs> one. <laughs> you know, they're so friendly. They're so friendly. This is what I want to get across to people: is like they are so. You know, like you, you have, you have like, is like your like instant best friend, immediate click. Generally, you know, I've met some off planet people working upstairs that, you know, we're a little more, you know, but again, almost all the time, you know, you're going to really, you know, hit it off. And it's just, That's interesting. I wonder, it makes me think about just like random friends and just like total stranger people that come up and then I'm like, huh, like that, you can just shoot the shit and like, like, Hey, like we're cool like whatever i'm not worried about you at all huh, i wonder if that's like a somebody that's either tapped in or just extra extra out of this world or just lock insta lock with you like either either way it's awesome but i know what you're talking about there total insta lock you know i mean it's just crazy well i went up the other night um because there was one guy he's a plea a hell pleiadian as well and um yeah, he's a little bit mm, difficult. Um, so we had a bit of a powwow up there about this guy because he's kind of part of the team, you know. And they're like, yeah, you're going to work with him. So we're like, all right, cool. You know, you just know you kind of, you know, keep, 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 keep. Uh... So it's the same, you know, here, there, upstairs, downstairs. There's some people you insta lock with and some people that you have to kind of be like, okay, well, you know, we're going to work together. And we're going to have our differences and that's cool, you know, but, um, it is what it is. So like anywhere. That's the, the do. Yeah. It was just, well, even to yourself, like that duality thing of like, somebody was pointing out whatever about, uh, doing shadow work and asking what exactly it meant. And I was I think of the most inverse opposite of everything that you, that you stand for, like, and try not to judge them. And that's you like the dark you though like they're like oh all right yeah. they had, that's pretty much as i i get it they like there's probably that version of every every energy that probably we'd have to work with out there hopefully we're working with the 
the nice, smooth, polite version, but it's not <laughs> always going to be the case. Not always going to be. No, I mean, it's just, um, I've always thought about that, you know, does it have something to do with being in the physical body, you know, because you have these needs, you got to eat and all that stuff. So I think, I think there's always that, that <clears throat> very 3D aspect of, of, of having a body that creates some kind of imbalance or like, uh, you know, psychological fighting. You know, there's, I hate to say animal because we're all animals, but I mean, it's that, that sort of animalistic side of you because you got to eat and drink and stuff. So, I mean, there's always that aspect of, of, um, of anyone, you know? So, you know, I, I always kind of get into these existential kind of debates in my head about, you know. <laughs> well, the, I, to, to think of the, somebody, I, some, one of the channels brought up a point of like, oh, you do, you do whatever. And this is the master class, but like you say, you know, before it, you come here that it's going to be rough and like, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you see, you see it like, you know, physical hunger and like, it's a little chilly out. You're like, ah, it's no problem to whatever, like light infinite being of, you know, eternal energy. And then you come here and you're like, crap, I don't have any oil in my gas tank. Like, <laughs> you know, that sucks. Yeah, well, yeah. Like there is definitely ways around it. And for sure, I am hoping to kind of explore some alternatives to to the man being the only source on that but just even being aware to, of it is like a like really a, to me is the first step like holy crap any of the options like just say just say a janky fan that doesn't stop running ever like all right i can have a, a fan that i put anywhere in my house that runs on rubber bands oh yeah that that won't that I could blow air everywhere, like that won't break until the rubber bands break. Like, yeah, that's a real thing. Like for sure, it's a real simple demonstration of a concept to me. Yeah. Like, but yeah. just somebody like to our group, obviously everybody would be like, sure, whatever, ten bucks for that's the hot damn, sign me up. Like, but somebody else might be like, that is such a scam. Like, there's no way you're getting my ten bucks for it free air there's that doesn't exist like there's but that mentality you take that mentality and stretch it across right up to and including whatever warp drive or something then like like hey it's all real and out there you just gotta a be open to it and be like figure out how it's within your attainability like no way it, like there's gonna be a, at least a part where people will automatically just shut down like that's not even possible yeah which hopefully conversations like these broaden that down slimmer and slimmer but well and that's a great point because once you've seen and understand the complexity of existence the interdimensional part of it that there's no time you you can you can go back and experience past lives you can you can see your future lives one and you look up into space and you can imagine like the vastness of this and the I'm, I'm like, it's it's just, you can't even get your mind around it. And once you start to experience that cosmic now, whatever you want, like everything falls into place. Like you don't feel petty anymore. All that stuff disappears. You see, you're, you're, you're a grain in a universe of grains and grains and billions of grains. And like, it's just, you just change and it's good. And it feels good inside. And that's what we're trying to show people is like, just try it. Just, just expand your mind and you're going to feel good. And then once everybody starts to do that, the whole shit show unravels because no one is in that forced mentality that they've been lied to, you know, as we all know, forever. You start to realize what reality is. Well, I think both on the like, to the fractal inward sense, like yeah. you get, you get all those multi-universe you, Andrea's lined up on the same, like, wait a yeah. minute, this is bullshit. You, right. you start resonating stronger and then that resonates outward stronger with other individuals with like, you know what? She's right. 
she got her astral multi dimensions in line, and I'm gonna try that. Holy shit, it works! It works. And then, like, boom, like you guys are cross. You have a cross web between the two of you, and I think it's. I honestly think that's it. it spreads out stronger like that. Yes. Personally, yes. I mean, I've had people who've had no experiences. I mean, one of my friends, well, she's in her. I'm not gonna tell how old she is, but she's well over her fifties, <laughs> getting like, and she never had an experience, but she's a star seed. And I said, look, this is what we're going to do, right? You're going to, I'm going to have Ika come to you tonight before you go to bed, right? I said, put your hand out and you're going to feel him hold your hand, right? And then you guys are going to go do your thing, right? Well, she felt it and she blacked out. So I th- I know he took her back to Era and they had like, a, he takes you around the city and all that stuff like that in the astral. He's in the astral, you're in the astral. He pulls your astral, right? So they had a great night. And then um, this lady ended up, by locating to inner earth yes and, and see it, it opens and this is why i tell people open yourself receive you learn to receive and the more you do it the more it will happen for you it's not a magic trick it's real and that's what people understand like well to kind of to dave to stack onto a point that dave harps on pretty regularly too like it's the i personally feel like it's a muscle thing like i don't want to speak for you but like yeah for you talking to people upstairs is like obviously like just tying your shoe like you could do it one-handed behind your back that's you that's your thing what whatever it might be a different thing for me astral projection whatever it is like it's a natural like thing where you're like oh yeah obviously like you just go to the edge of the universe like duh like Absolutely. Like I'm not picking on anybody, but that's just simple as hell. I'm just like you're like, uh, oh, obviously, to connect with anybody, you just look up their phone number in the little astral book, and it's like yeah. yellow and purple gems, and then you pick that. You're like, what? Like, I were I got it eventually after 17 years of practice every day. You're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. it's easy. Like I think everybody's got something specific. Like maybe some cross treads on stuff but i think everybody's got like a specific thing where you're like oh yeah obviously like you can you can't float breads of loaves of bread across the room like obviously like you just point at it and then do this like what are are you talking about like yeah yeah Yeah, a lot of it's just in your mind really once you realize it's like it's just a mental block that's all it is it's not it's not a special thing like we all we all experience um the astral whatever you know differently because people are different you have different sense some people can smell better than others people can taste better than others like some people experience that very differently you know some people more sound well you know Ivan Ilda hers is kinetic she gets it through dance she channels through dance well I think uh like for example and I don't I'm not going to put him on blast I don't think because he said it a bunch of times but Brandon doesn't dream oh Brandon okay I think for instances like that, like I think he probably dreams the hell out of it, but he's right. got the he's got the cutoff so hard that he's zero recollection. Like, yeah. and I think there's stuff like that where, like, maybe that kind of discourages on on the waking end. Whereas, it, maybe if you were to go hang out with Brandon at Brandon's party in the astral, it would be like next level total party. Oh like, yeah, versus, <laughs> totally. You know, versus where yeah. like. You're, you're more aware of it and you can kind of tune it in. You're like, all right, we, we only need 17 disco balls at this party, guys. Like, whatever. Like, it's totally it's totally off the chain. Like, there. Like, versus maybe maybe there's a trade-off. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I think, I really think that if somebody just relaxes and doesn't worry about stuff. I think a lot of people put a lot of too much, like, oh, what if... You know, they, I don't know. I, I think there's just some hang up people have. You know, if you just throw those in the trash, you know, um, and you want it bad, you know, you really want it bad, it's going to come. I guarantee you, you know, and it's just, you, you got to want it. It's like anything you want that like you really want is going to happen. Well, then, and I think definitely there's whatever they are that feed like every time you're like that's not going to happen or like i'm worried i'm worried about this it's like throwing out food for something and obviously it's going to come and pack it up so don't throw it out like instead like oh i can take this and nourish myself with it via changing it into this and putting it in my into internal thought instead as an example 
know, and, and I've, I've had negative experiences cause I do this, you know, the more you do it, you know, I, I have had a few, not many, by the way, but I have had a few darker entities and it's like, I don't, but I don't care. See, like, I'm not afraid. So if that's your attitude, when these things come in, I bang them out in two seconds. I'm like, oh yeah, get for you. <laughs> you out and they, and they, and they run, you know, <clears throat> and yeah, it, it really is just, you know, if, if you, if you sort of surrender to the fear, if you don't have that, that, and it's just a matter of mind control of saying, okay, nothing's going to get in my face. That's, that's well, that's, that's a totally valid process. And I'm, I'm definitely not knocking it. That's, I see how that would work. The same, the same energy for me, maybe I'd be like, cool, you're dark. I've been to that dark place. It sucks. Here's a way to be light. If you don't want it, then bless your heart. Here's all the love. Be on your way. That's right. Be on your way. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No, and it's, it's, but it's all about just, you know, chilling out, basically. If you think about it, you know, you just, okay, calm down. Let's just, let's just work through this situation. So, you know, and I, and even ego, like, I think that's the point people, people think of, um, you know, these off planet humans as different or whatever. And they're the same thing as we are. They have the same moods they have the same feelings you know when when i had the men in black well, some some right not all of them but some of them do right well the the human ones you know i mean the other ones i, I, I you know that's a whole nother level <laughs> I know, I got, they're all they're out they're out of my league you know the, the plasma bubble ones will leave oh, for plasma, another yeah. conversation. You know, I, <laughs> conversation yeah i mean i've gone to the void uh that was the night i blacked out and i, I was taken to the void and I, you know, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> came the, back. The plasma. Oh man, didn't know where I was. Um, you know, one of the plasma ones I came across, it was just regular space, but it looked kind of like an amoeba, like from a far yeah. side drawing, but like kind of like, yeah, it was. I don't think it was void, but it was on a spaceship. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's it's a whole. I mean, there's all these. You name it, they're there. You know, so um, I tend to kind of focus more on the Lo locally kind of locally the regular ones right they're regular i mean yeah I, I was just helping trying to help a guy uh oh it, the um family he belongs to is like whoa i could feel like they were trying to reach him through me and it was waves of energy like wow like massive waves i'm like dude you 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 belong to something like yeah you're not <laughs> you're not a you know alpha centauri <laughs> it's like you, I don't know what this is, you know, and, and they showed me a woman came forward and she looked Arcturian, something like Arcturian is the best I could describe it, but I don't know if she really is because usually you hit them when they are something, that, you know, right? And I, I don't, some higher dimensional race, humanoid, bald, you know, that's who this guy belongs to. I said, you know, I, I said, I, I, this is like a stumper for me. And so I don't know who this group is. I said, a woman came for, they actually sent a ship over my house. They said, go to the window. And I'm like, I went to the window and a, and a ship came by. So I'm like, okay, well, that's not helping me. It's just a white, you know, flash. <laughs> it's like white flashy. Okay. White flash. But the fact that they could do that instantaneously was like, okay, yeah, I get you guys. They're like a whole nother level. And, um, <clears throat> but there's a movie that he's going to, I said, watch that movie. Cause there's info for you in that movie. So, you know, there's always that, you know, maybe they don't want them to know. I don't know. You know, it's just what, like, which movie? Well, I, it, I'll tell you later. Oh, OK. Oh, sure. I, I, I don't want to give them away. Yes, kind of, oh, sure. When I work with people one on one, I don't like that, you know, um, but I'll tell you later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I pretty much have a 100 percent track record, you know, getting people contact. And um, only because it's, that's it. You have to be open to this experience but i but the people that i meet is the stuff they've experienced like well i mean we're talking like like portals opening up in their rooms you know i mean um down i haven't had that haven't had that one per per se that i can remember yeah i i haven't either <laughs> well I, I used to go up on the ships a lot when i was a baby but eco would take me out oh super vivid dreams of like the inside of chips and going up and oh, yeah. but nothing like like i would hang up my headset and walk outside and like take my me and my dog up and up and i'd be down obviously but like, not yet not yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, they used to take me out of my room, you know, um, when I was a kid, a baby, you know. Um, uh, quite a few times they just take me up, you know. Like, I'm like, that's going to be so weird. I'm like, here's your wife in diapers. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, we well, don't know, it bother, you know, like, it doesn't bother them, you know. They're just like, oh, yeah, this is how it works, you know. Well, that or they, they, the time field where they could age progress you to whatever and then age regress you back to a baby <laughs> again no, after. I didn't, they didn't, no, I stayed a baby. They just played together, they wanted to play, you know, you know. But that, that, I, yeah, God. <laughs> Who, no. I, I don't put anything outside the realm of possibility, no, but if it comes to no, me, I'll it, throw it on it the was table. Just more about like, you know, like, hey, you know, because I, I always remember them when I was, when I was a kid, like, you know, but nothing. Yeah, I mean, I can, he, he said, no, it was just you as a baby, like, you know, and they were just only, spend time, you know? only one time going up for me that i remember when i was like maybe five or so and it was texas and all i remember is floating above the bed looking over and seeing a light and headed towards the window blackout and then i wake up again and i'm floating in my closet like crunched yeah. up with the door shut so i that's and i wasn't able to <clears throat> i wasn't able to make a noise either going right. out or coming in so i was like which I wasn't trying to scream. I was just like, "Yeah, what the, what the f is going on?" <laughs> did it feel? Did it feel good to you? Yeah, yeah. No, it didn't seem yeah. like I was sketched out at all, and I'm no. may or may or may not be personally convinced that there there's an artifact somewhere in my body after <laughs> after it. Okay. Oh yeah, I well, want to leave it. Yeah, we I want to leave it. Yeah. We do have those because they're trackers. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And they, I think it, it actually helps with other stuff too, but yeah. yeah we have, we, we have trackers. Yeah. I mean, benevolent, <laughs> not the, yeah, <laughs> not the bad ones. Some people got those too. You know, I finally, oh, got yeah, them. yeah, that's true. Mine was government though. The, the bad one that they stuck in me was uh, government. It wasn't extraterrestrial. No, oh, how did, how did you, did you, you got it out or I, I had, they, they took it out. Oh, oh, I, good. That, oh, that's our took it out. Um, yeah, that that was um yeah, but um that was a bad bad one. <laughs> but yeah, it's um yeah, it, it, you know, I, I just can't wait for people to have these experiences. That's what's the hardest thing. It's like I want people to have these experiences. You know, I just oh right, and um, but you know, a lot of our friends are thinking it's 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 getting revved up. Oh well, I hope so, but I, I also know. I know I, I I don't know, you know, I just like, I I don't know if you watch the. Uh... The Jesse Michael thing with uh, Lou Alzando, or uh, I think they mentioned kind of the same effect, even on the 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 alien scientists with uh, Ash and Dave and uh, Dave Chester about the like if humanity's ready for it, like aspect, which maybe or maybe not the case, but either way, just conversations again more to this point, conversations like these to like get people to even open up to the possibility that the stuff is real. And then the next level of that being like, Hey, there's, there's this system that we could have where we could all get along and pretty much do what we like. But if you get one douchebag in the mix, then where it's game over for the whole thing. Like, well, they're never, and this is, I don't think you're ever going to get rid of, you know, that because it's upstairs it's all over upstairs you know you can't just fly around up there safely you got to be careful you know you got to know what you're doing <laughs> you got to have it's not safe so i think it's just going to have to be some kind of like as always some kind of in anywhere you know just checks and balances system where if somebody is going to do that you got to say okay yeah we're gonna you know shut you down and give you a spanking and you know <laughs> put you in <laughs> Put you somewhere thinking about what you did, you know. So I think there's gonna there always has to be this um that that that's just natural. I don't think it's, it's oh, well, I would say even now, if well, I don't know, I don't know what else you'd call them, like the, the time police, I guess, but to, if in order for even the whole structure, the outlaying structure in my mind to be in place, like and or the possibility for other civilizational resets to hit this point 
or time travel, there would have to be like whatever some authority yeah the that already had the the technology and or know how like because I don't think necessarily it has to be a piece of tech. I think maybe yeah. back in back in the day, like just you you did whatever to your body and you could oh. you could what Doctor Strange a portal in front of you or uh, which would be a sh buttload of power but I think it's doable if you were on the no, right I, spot maybe no, I, I think I, I know it's doable well the the, the um, military has been doing uh, time travel oh well that that's what I mean and <laughs> like if you get if you get one wing nut with a hair across their butt bent on doing whatever then you need to have the infrastructure in place to stop that from occurring which would mean yeah. you would know about it already and which would mean for sure <laughs> to me that they would already have it yeah well they do and i think that's you know yeah otherwise we'd all be dead you know <laughs> we don't yeah, we don't mean because <laughs> well, the argument's been made that there's are definitely already a temporal war going on which Oh. It's scary as hell, but I wouldn't also, again, I wouldn't doubt that for even a second. I mean, you got advanced extraterrestrial races that could toast you in two seconds. I mean, but they just don't, you know? So it's like, you know, it's, it's there's got to be, you know, I don't know. Maybe some people say, well, you just get tried. We're just trying to shift the balance back a little bit, you know? Or just, just for the, yeah, the balance would be a good, the, yeah, the way I see it, like, just use uh say Saddam Hussein had uh some sort of temporal access uh and there was supposed to be a money shift maybe before that like oh you know what I'm saying maybe the uh maybe he went back and did whatever to stop the dollar from doing whatever and so oil kept going like well, the, yeah. oh that's a stall like whoops hey it caused this war like maybe there's like something where we're at war but it seems like that's that's not going to work anymore like if oh we have to stall out because we're at war like but also i do think like stuff like there are examples with saddam like i do personally believe that he had access to whatever temporal stuff I think that throws off the balance, like stalls it. Like, oh, we really should. Twenty twelve, for an example, should have been when we right. were like, right. Right. Boop, everybody had free energy and the calendar reset, whatever. Like, hover cars, yeah. food replicators, the whole nine, whatever. But like, due to maybe the Der Glocken, and then you got yeah. some ass hats and skunk works and then you got oh, yeah, they, you yeah. got saddam and then you put all those together and then whoops now we're at 2030 or whatever we are like they cheese another time frame oh go ahead and i'm sorry no no i agree with you i mean i, I think it just wasn't um just wasn't right because there just was too much it was too tipped in favor of the baddies they still well, had I, had, I heard specifically the saddam one that was the case and like yeah, I, I was like all oh, the aluminum tubes and i'm like oh uh, I can't feel bad about about that. Not that it's. I really try to get wrapped up politically any more way anymore, but uh, that makes way more sense. Well, I think it, it depends on on the what percentage of humanity was still drinking the Kool Aid, and and what percentage of. I mean, because how would you force it? You can't force stuff on people. So if you had a high percentage of the population that's drinking the Kool Aid, you got to get the, you, know, you got to get that on the other. If side. there was a limited window that was closing and we Doesn't needed happen. to get the we needed to get the whatever population bar up to whatever percent like how do you do that without breaking people's minds like right right yeah there's the drip yeah. the drip works but like 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 you said maybe some landings maybe some off the coast i don't honestly know other ways like, oh, you know there's been well yes i've heard that that there's going to be um on the oceans so I don't know, you know, I didn't, I, did. I mean, there's, I also heard that there's going to be, um, and I talked to this about Ika a little while ago, it's like, it's going to be, I, is it going to be a military, you know, oh, breaking news, the military steps forward and a representative from upstairs is, you know, with some high ranking officials. Um, so I said, Ika, is it going to be you? And he's like, no, <laughs> I never do that. No, but I mean, 
Uh, yeah, I think you can just, I, I, you know, he doesn't know. Um, so my contacts, they only know, you know, they're just working like us. So they're like, I don't know what they're going to do. But I really think they're kind of trying. I mean, I, I think they have to be able to kind of move the plan around a little bit based upon what happens. So like if, if this chip falls, okay, we're going to do this. Well, if this chip falls, we have to do that. It's like a whack-a-mole situation. And yeah, I think it's just kind of like, it's almost like, you know, feeling your way through it. Like, oh, I got to do a little bit more of this. We got to add a little more fertilizer. We got to take it, we got to put a little more water. You know, it's like, oh, it's going to be dry. So let's do it. It's going to be too wet. Let's do that. You know, so it's, I think there's that constant so that, that you don't upset the whole apple cart. And that's my take, you know. Well, yeah, I think they got a, a few maybe lined up like the. Yeah, that's my guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like whatever with the moon, or then they had uh, my my one friend sent me a article about NASA just released theirs. Oh yeah. They found whatever life out there, and I'm um, I told them I think word for word, like, dude, my bet is it's a conscious plasma uh, plasma cloud somewhere out there, sure. somewhere. Like, and he said, oh yeah, that's probably a good bet. Like, I don't because personally, either that or they'll say maybe like an insect on Mars or something like. Oh, there's insects something there. where it initially doesn't seem like threatening in any way like yeah. you know like where you wouldn't perceive it i don't know as, I like it's coming be, to get us i think that's going to be too slow i think you know i think it's that's like i think it already, yeah i think well according yeah. to a few people we're already way way too slow but if you were going to break it i'd say like hyper distant plasma clad is probably the easiest <laughs> easy in <laughs> Like six hundred light years away, it's we know for a fact that it's conscious though. It's spelling like hello Earth. Like our, all right, well, you know, like you can't deny that. And like that's super non threatening. Okay. I think I think too, another thing would be just the military coming out with their shit. You know, because everybody likes the military. And the military comes out like, okay, here it is, blah, blah, blah. Here's our stuff. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, cool. And then it's like, oh, here's some ETs to go with it. Oh, cool. People are just gonna go along with it. Well, that and like, or like, it's just so inundated out there, and it's been so many hands have been on it that the the recovered craft they can't oh. keep it secret anymore. Oh. Like, hey, whoops! This one piece made it through seventeen separate corporate entities, and <laughs> magically nobody talked about it, or everybody that did wound up dead. Like, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Now you can get to see it in the public. Like, wait, what? Are, what about the the whatever craft? Like, nope, not a, nothing to see here. Nothing to see, yeah, nothing to see here. Yeah, I just I just think your average person respects the military. And if the army rolls out a, a scout ship, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, wow, look at that. They're gonna go with it. They're just gonna roll. They're just gonna. I'd say I agree with you there. I'd say to that, I'd, and again, not try to people please everybody but to that point like there's going to be the crowd that only believes it if the military re releases it and exactly. Exactly. there'll be a, that, uh, another crowd that will absolutely not believe it because the military released it well then they'll believe the big mothership that flies in after exactly but they'll but i'm i'm sure that other crowd maybe if it landed in a field somewhere near them they'd be more open to that versus whatever else happening. I mean, I think that's, that's our point. I mean, something has to happen. You can't just keep sitting around twiddling your thumbs and, you know, and, and fighting, you know, all oh, this, well, another podcast on, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to get some, some actual, let's get our shovels and start digging the ground. You know, we, we, we can't just keep, you know, yap, yap, yap. We need to have some actual things happening. Right. That's my take. Because I'm a doer, not a stalker. <laughs> well, to yeah, to that point, I try I tried I've been ramping up slowly and I do have a the paycheck job now, so I kind of lag right, a little right, harder. Right. But I I have been trying to like ease my way into like MacGyver my way yeah. physical functional methods of different things. Like the the fan, for example, is just super basic, easy, and I'm pretty sure it was actually and I don't even have TikTok, but I'm pretty sure it was actually a TikTok thing. And it's just yeah, a fan. It was, yeah. And then on the back, it instead of a round one, it's an egg. And then you have a three-point 
of rubber bands go into it and then you hook the three things on and that one little egg is where you break your symmetry and it always wants to pull it tight Mm -hmm. so you always have a fan like i'm like oh that would definitely work like all right i'm i'll make one like i learned it on on tiktok i i have the pieces i just don't have the rubber band set up for it yet a lot of goodies on tiktok oh yeah oh absolutely we're looking for that kind of thing yeah yeah well i suppose you better let our um our viewers have a break respecting all of our time your time oh absolutely you have to go absolutely your your time tomorrow. Too. i don't have a paycheck this semester wait till, hopefully next semester get a paycheck <laughs> i know it's messed up. but it is what it is and i want to just say um have folks take a look at the ancient pathways and i have the link below and yeah see and try some of these things yourself maybe give a little bit of go start learning a little more about the tech and how this kind of stuff works because you know upstairs is not magic it's all technology no magic folks just tech so yeah it's 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 uh worth a little bit of uh, a bit of a read as we say right but um thank you so much evan for uh sharing your time with us this evening oh thanks for having me i'm definitely i'm definitely amped i'd say definitely follow the intuition on whatever approach sticks out the most and we're gonna gonna have you back on again of course oh i look forward to it absolutely we're we're a team. We've been we've been together for centuries. We're not going to separate. <laughs> so, oh, I hope not. I hope not. We can't we can't break apart that easy, right? That's it. Uh, so anyway, good evening to all of our viewers, and I'm going to try to figure out how to turn this off now. There we go. Let's see. <laughs> all right. Oh. I got it. We're off. Oh, all right. Because I don't know how to edit, so it has to be all. Yep. Oh, it's still says.